Who is Merit Ni? Merit was the first queen ruled in the world history. She ruled Egypt and she was from the first Egyptian dynasty. As a result, opinions are different whether she ruled the state alone or she was just a king's wife. What do you know about Merit's royal life? She was the daughter of the King Jer, the wife of King Wajid, and the mother of King Don. She managed to govern Egypt after the death of her husband. Then she shared her son Don, who succeeded his father in ruling when he was young and must be under guardianship. What is the name of Merit related to? Merit is related to ancient Egypt Lord Neith, who was an important lord in the first dynasty. Swat's name means Neith Beloved, the center of worshipping. Neith was in Seth, where there are some monuments and toys from its age had other names like Neith Hotep, means Neith is satisfied, and Next Neith means Neith the Strong. What were the most important achievements of the Queen Mary? Preparing her son, the King Don, to rule is considered her most important achievements. As the most important achievement is preparing the greatest kings of the Egyptian civilization, who cared about widening the Egyptian borders and keeping them. In his age, Egypt enjoyed economic prosperity and political stability. What are the most important Merit's monuments? Ah, yes. A stone stone reminder panel was found near to the tomb of Umm al Koab. Moreover, stumps from her tomb with Dan were found in Abydos, and her name carved on a board of marmor, marble, was found in Saqqara's tomb that was considered as her tomb. When was Merit Neith died? She died about 30 years old and was buried in the tomb TT358 at Deir El Bahri and the coffin is considered as a fantastic masterpiece in which the character, expression and the face of the Egyptian queen is reflected. What do you know about the Queen Merit Neith's tomb? The design of the tomb illustrates the ascending to the sky after death. As it was carved on a comb of ivory, which was found in the tomb of Dijet while it was illustrating the earth and the sky. And the name was carved was the name of the king or the queen in the place between earth and sky. But there are two supports for the sky on the two sides of the comb which showed the ideology of the ancient Egyptian that the power of the king filled the place between the earth and the sky.